Alright guys, um, Shani here. So today I'm going to talk about the infamous Honda's Econ button. You can really see, let me see. Yep, Econ button. And, uh, and the sunlight is supposed to be a green color button, which I don't think so you can see it, but it's, you know, you get the idea. Uh, this is the, perhaps the most elusive button in Honda's car because most of people actually don't know actually what does it do. They only know that it's a fuel. And, um, well, I'm going to try to explain my best way to uh, see whether I can let you guys know actually what does this do. And uh, technically speaking, the things that Honda claim this econ button do uh, will contribute to a saving fuel economy. But um, let's try in the real world and see whether does it work or not. And uh, I know most of the people don't even actually bother about this econ button like I do. I own the car for almost a year now. This Honda I got and uh, I only start to get interested in this econ button, you know, and what does it do and really whether does it really affect, uh, you know, the way I drive and stuff like that. So, yeah, so without further ado, you know, let's get to all the things that the econ button actually does to your car. Alright, so the first thing that your econ button actually will do is to change your gears ratio shifting point. Meaning to say now, your gears will actually upshift uh, way faster than it should be. Uh, but in a sense, it's faster not to say that the speed of shifting gear will be faster, but it will shift, shift uh, way earlier. Uh, that will probably be the better term to describe it. Uh, rather than you know, having your gear to rev up to 4K and you're reaching 80 or something like that, and then it shifts, it will shift faster because obviously running at a larger gear uh, will actually give you much more economy, fuel economy. Uh, so yep what the econ button will also actually do um, it will actually change your throttle response so what is throttle response throttle response is actually uh, the time how long does your car actually takes to respond to you keep pressing the accelerator so for instance you know those cars like when you immediately you press the accelerator then your car just jerks forward without any delay that kind of car will have very very fast throttle response uh, I mean now, of course, I believe that you guys have heard about turbo lag, this and that. Yes, turbo lag is actually one of the throttle response kind of thing. What it means is that, uh, you know, as long as you hit, when you press your accelerator and your car moves forward fast enough, then you're considered as fast throttle response. But if it's slow, then you have... So, of course, if you jerk faster to the front, you of course, you consume more fuel. So, what the econ button do is actually it delays your throttle response. Not to say it stops but actually it delays so many to say now when you press the accelerator it'll probably take 0.5 seconds before your car engine reacts to your demand for power and not only that the power doesn't come immediately after you press it the power actually comes linear uh, rather than going like for instance you can see RPM rather than from 2 you fall all the way to 3 you'll see like 2 and then you go up slowly to 3 so actually it provides you with a smooth acceleration and uh, it doesn't allow you to drive like a crazy crazy man you know like swerve in and swerve out almost immediately you know that kind of thing so yeah the one the next one is the aircon compressor this is perhaps the most uh, obvious change that you actually can see because if you have if you drive a honda you will notice that if you turn on your fan speed to let's say speed 3 uh, and then immediately after you turn on your econ button, you will realize that the fan speed actually reduces. It becomes smaller. Uh, I do not know actually why, but it does. So it becomes uh, probably it reduces uh, the power use or something like that. And not only that, it actually increases uh, the compressor from coming in and out. So we will say, rather than having the compressor turning on most of the time, it will now turn on for 3 seconds and then turn off for 2 and then turn off for 3 seconds turn off for 2 so maybe you turn off you know like those engine start car with an automatic start stop you know uh, Mazda's eye stop for instance when you're, you, you're not moving your engine will switch off and when you start your engine will switch off back yeah this is something like that you know back days when people say hey you're wasting fuel because you're waiting and you're turning your aircon and then people will just turn off the aircon and wait yeah, under the hot sun and uh, you know be hopped in so this is something like that but rather than turning off the compressor altogether it reduces the, the 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 running time of the compressor so that they consume less fuel of course this probably all this is uh, negligible but it's one of the ways honda says that the econ button does to actually conserve fuel economy 
the last one is probably uh, it doesn't really actually affects all Honda cars but only on the ones with cruise control because this is specifically referring to the cruise control and how the econ button actually affects auto cruise so this is how auto cruise work you run your car up to let's say 80 km and then you turn on auto cruise and your car will just run smoothly at 80 maintain it at the speed and throughout the journey your car will maintain the speed of 80 uh, and whenever the car uh, detects a slow or speed or something like that you pump the RPM up and uh, maintain it so the most common ways of a uh, car maintain it is you're going to drop the gear and then they wrap the RPM and when your speed reaches the same designated speed uh, everything will go back normal so what Honda says is that for cruise control when you have an ECAN button on what you do is this it will delay uh, basically it will delay your response so what happens is that it's basically applying all the ECAN button features that we just talked about into a cruise control and for instance let's just say you're cruising at 80 and you come and you're reaching a incline climb a hill for instance naturally your car which is traveling at 80 km will have its speeds reduced uh, to let's just say 80 and then 75 something like that naturally your auto cruise uh, car will want to maintain at 80 km so what you do is it will reduce your gear so that your car can increase the RPM rev up hit 80 and then maintain at the speed but what the econ button do is this it basically uh, restricts you it delays the gear changes and whatnot. So let's just say, rather than having an immediate change of gear to pump up your speed to 80, now, with the Econ button, your car actually reacts slower. Uh, let's just say, when you hit the hill, and then your car will take probably 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 seconds longer before it will shift down, and then uh, to basically push your car back up to 80 kilometers per hour. The rational behind this, I understand, because sometimes road isn't all... You know, all jolly all good it's not going to be flat all the time sometimes there will be some uphill and downhill so what Honda does is this sometimes the uphill is not going to be permanent so let's just say it's going to be uphill for like you know like 500 meter and then you come back down again so sometimes the downshift is not necessary so if they did not set a delay time a delay response time your car will downshift upshift downshift upshift immediately when it detects uh, incline or decline so this is actually very bad for consumption it's like you keep on shifting down your gear from 2 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 1 like that so honda actually takes into account that things let's just say you're going up here and maybe maybe just maybe you don't really need that extra you know extra torque to push you up because before you actually need that power you probably reach a flat surface then you know your car can resume normally and a normal gear so yeah so on and all what the econ button do is uh, well not to say it cuts power or restricts power it basically delays the power delivery uh, so that uh, you know you wouldn't feel that your car has a lot of power because when you have a lot of when your car have a lot of power you naturally wanted to uh, you know just rev it and then you drive like crazy you know assuming you know people don't drive like crazy like in a what uh, Viva uh, as opposed to people in the Ferrari they definitely rev the engine to you know, to speed the rings and whatnot so what the Econ button do is actually uh, I think it's safe to say that it actually takes the fun out of driving it makes you drive like an old man it makes you civilized yeah I think that's the right way to say the Honda Econ button actually makes you a civilized driver because you can no longer drive like a crazy person because you don't have that power at your disposal and you know what they say about the best fuel saver is actually your feet the feet that actually rest on the accelerator because if you have a heavy feet no matter what car you drive you're going to consume fuel like mad so you know honda understand this fact and they say that if we were to leave it to you know drivers to determine they'll never get fuel economy so what they do is this econ button is someone like you know uh, 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 in, an instructor you know constantly reminding you that look you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you cannot floor the accelerator, you cannot rev immediately, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. But rather than telling you, it is forcing you to do it. You know, it's like it's putting you on training wheels. So in that sense, you know, you are not able to uh, drive like a crazy madman even if you want to. So right now, the million dollar question is whether the econ button actually does what it says and does it really actually save you fuel? That is the most important question that I believe everybody wants to know. 
And so for this purpose, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill two full tanks, uh, same fuel uh, quality at the same station. Uh, and I usually pump shell round 95 and that's what I'm going to do. One, I'm going to run it down uh, without the econ button on. And one, I'm going to run it down with the econ button on. And uh, just for the simplicity, I'm not going to go all this technical, you know, big bang theory kind of thing. I'm just going to use the calculation on the onboard computer in my car, this Honda Accord. And see at the end of the day, how many kilometer per liter I can achieve with and without all this econ button. And yeah, so let's put to the test and whether see this works or not. And whether does it really actually worth taking out all the fun you know in driving just to save that claim fuel mileage and actually honda didn't really man, uh, put any statistics that how much it can save you in terms of fuel economy so you know basically there's nothing to prove but i just need to know and to show you guys that whether or not this econ button works or not so stay tuned and uh, i'll update once i run down the two full fuel tanks thank you for watching